share a story I've shared before, but many of you are new, and some of you don't even know our story. But this week, this very week, uh, we, Elizabeth and I have a son who would be 21. He died eight years ago. Some people say prematurely. We don't. He died. When he was five years old, he was dying. He was almost dying several times. When he was born, he almost died. Five years old, he almost died. And at age 13, he did die. Age five, he was in the hospital in a coma, dying. I mean, he's all but dead. And he's there. And I remember one evening... At the end of an evening, I was coming, he was down in Miami, I was driving down late, got there. The doctor was leaving the hospital as I was entering the hospital. It was very quiet, a lot of hospitals are quiet at night. It was probably 11 o'clock at night. I'm walking towards the ward where James was and Elizabeth. The doctor, our doctor, was walking away from the ward to go home to get a couple hours sleep. I had the weight of James on my shoulders. He had the weight of five young children who were dying. He was a pediatric cardiologist one of the best in the world. He had been in Boston and then moved to Miami. And as we came together, his eyes were bowed, my eyes were bowed. I was in fear, he was in fear. We were just walking closer and closer together. And I put my arms on his shoulder and I said, Anthony, his name was Dr. Chang, I called him Anthony. I said, Anthony, just tell me the truth. And he looked up at me and he said, remember the day we met, Bill? I said, yes. Five years ago, I met him in Boston when we had been airlifted on an air ambulance to Boston, Logan Airport, and we were driven into the uh, children's hospital. Those of you who are up in Boston, sixth floor, opened up the door about 11 o'clock the night the boy was born here in Boca, up at Bethesda, opened up the doors, and there was Dr. Chang. He told me to go to bed. He thought that boy would be dead before morning. He never told me that, though, until five years later. He said, Bill, you remember that day we met? I said, yes. He said, your son should have died that night. And Anthony kept walking towards his car, and I was walking towards James, and I lifted my head, and I realized something for the first time in a long time, that every day is a gift. Every single day is a miracle. A miracle. I am here today because of a miracle. You are here today because of a miracle. God does not promise us tomorrow. He promises us today. And it's a miracle. What are we going to do with the miracle God has given us? Eight years passed. And on a day in August, eight years ago, James died of a heart attack. We had his funeral right here. I sat right here where Ashley and you all are here. His body was right there. I, my boys and I did the eulogy standing where I'm standing here. Now we grieve, and this week we will be grieving that we do not have a 21-year-old that we can celebrate his birthday. But we do not grieve as those who have no hope because we know he lived a life that God wanted and the fact that he lived more than a day was a miracle. I believe the fact that he was born is a miracle. We have many pregnant women in here. It is a miracle that your children are living in your body and that they will be born. Older people in the back, it's a miracle that you're 80 years old. I just, I, I just am in awe of all the experience you people have and the miracles. But we don't see it as that because we haven't seen something extraordinary happen in our lives. But let me tell you, everything is extraordinary and supernatural, and we must understand that. Amen?